Hey everybody, this is just a quick, I hate leaving things unfinished video. So before I get into it, I'm going to ask you to please do all the things anyway, you know what they are. All right, so the deal was in February, I was participating in a bingo, a palette bingo collab. Bunch of other absolutely wonderful ladies. I tried and tried to record this thing and I had just really awful time. I talked about it in my eyes project and I decided that I would not make any other attempts to record while using this palette live. I would wear the palette while recording, which I'm doing, but I would not try and do this on camera because for some reason, this palette is the kiss of death for me with my video recording. This is the BH Lost in Los Angeles palette. It's actually a fantastic palette. And as a spoiler alert, I'm gonna tell you, I brought this back from Minnesota with me and I found it at um, TJ Maxx the other day, very cheap. So I grabbed one to leave here. I do love the palette. You're going to see it in my March purchases, but it is really not the palette's fault. It was just one of those things where I should not be recording with this palette, apparently. So I figured what I would do, because I hate leaving things unfinished and I hate not doing something if I say that I'm going to, I recreated the look that I did while I was filming because I did have, no, I didn't have footage. I had notes because I had lost the footage too. Because, yeah, that's the way things go for me. But... I'm going to tell you what I've got, what I drew. So the last filming I did, the shadows that I got, I don't even remember what order I got them, but these are the colors. I got 90210, which is this great pink color. I got Abbott Kinney, which is the purple matte. Okay, maybe I'm not doing these in order. I got Rush Hour, which is the silver sparkly. And then I got Starstruck, which is the gold sparkly. Silver and gold, of course, a woman look. And then I did get the Abbey, which is that matte white, which everybody was saying they didn't love. So, 90210, inner part up here. Outer part in the transition area was, what was the name of that one? Abbott Kinney. So I blended my pink into my purple for the crease and transition area. I wrapped the purple all the way around to the bottom. And then I did silver in the middle of the lid. And that one was, I remember the colors, I can't remember the names. That one was Rush Hour. And then Starstruck is a little bit harder to see because I did put on some blue eyeliner and you're gonna, I'm gonna throw out pictures here too that you'll see. So you can't really see it, but it is underneath that lash line. That's where I put that gold shimmer. And then the white, I used as a little bit of a brow bone highlight and inner corner. So you're not getting a music moment. You're just going to get a couple of pictures. Hopefully that will show you a little bit better because I know that even if I zoom in, you guys really can't see it. Um, so just saying. Now, so that, oh man, so that I do not screw this up. I have the list of everybody that was in this group with me because I am gonna give them another mention. Even the ladies that weren't able to do it, these are the ones that originally wanted to be doing it. So we've got DW, Dub's Beauty Diary. We've got Erica Ashley. We've got Jennifer, who's Little Gemini Doll on Instagram. We've got Amy Melissa. Uh, Misty was gonna do it. And then me, Deb from Deb B. Jennifer at Jen Beauty. And then, I swear I hope I'm pronouncing this right. I think it's Cami. I'm not sure. Um, and I haven't I haven't seen hers either. So a couple of us weren't able to do it, some things. Oh, and, and Ruth Foley. This was actually Ruth Foley's palette. That was the whole thing. This was her um, Project Level Up palette. I think this was her level two. And so that's kind of where this originated, that a bunch of us had it and decided we'd jump in there with her and that would get her some uses on her colors too. Uh, but that didn't work out. Life happens. So I will have all of those wonderful people listed down below because even if they didn't get to it, they did want to and look at me like 8 million years late and still not even doing it right because honestly, I was afraid that my computer would blow up if I tried to do it again while filming. So you've seen the pictures, hopefully. Um, you know everybody that's in here. I am not giving you a music moment on this one. This one is just straight up housekeeping. Thank you so much for your time. I hope you at least enjoyed the fact that I did try and participate and got to see the look even if it didn't go the way it was supposed to. So until next time, everybody, thank you so much. See ya. Bye.